Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super laid back, super chill, comfy video where I go ahead and tell you all of my secrets. No, I'm kidding, but I'm really not. I'm going to go ahead and reveal all of the handbags that I have removed or returned out of my collection dating back the last year. Get ready, it's gonna be a long, like super long video. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down as much as possible, but I just wanna go ahead and tell you what I've cleared out of my collection and the reasons why, or what I've returned and the reasons why. So if you are new here, welcome. If you're turning, welcome back. And let's just get into Tony's takes. Okay, so this is my little black book, not like, you know, phone numbers of guys or anything like that. This is my black book and I have come up with a list of approximately 27 handbags that I can recall just off of the top of my memory that I have gotten rid of out of my handbag collection. This video is only luxury handbags. I'm not including the contemporary, so it's actually more than that. So but in the last year, I've been trying to curate my collection and also be more intentional with my purchases. Hold on. I have to take a drink to that because it, it's a lot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this list. Let's start with none other than Chanel. Okay, so I have gotten rid of the O case. I'm going to go ahead and pop a picture into this frame. I received this O case as a birthday gift and I was super excited about it. It was lambskin. Beautiful Chanel O case. It was the patchwork quilting on here. Very unique design. A collector's piece for sure. So... Now, mind you, I've had this handbag since 2014, 2013, somewhere around then. It was a birthday gift, so I held on to it, even though I had absolutely no desire to wear it. And it has sat brand new in the box since that time. This is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I'm actually revealing my secrets. I am a hoarder. I am a handbag hoarder. Like, I'm just a hoarder overall. I love to shop and it, it's it's something I have to work on. I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. Let me take another sip. No point in me keeping it. The next item from Chanel was a small vanity case. Once again, this is a common reoccurring theme. Handbags actually tend to sit in my collection because my life um, is not conducive to a, a night out on the town or you know anything like that. I actually am a homebody. I spend a lot of time at home, so there's actually no need for a lot of these things in my collection. Hence the reason why I have done the major purge. So the Chanel vanity case sat brand new in the closet in my collection since 2017 I believe 2022 I I did go ahead and decide to let it go 2022 because it was still brand new with the tags on it and I have found that with that handbag even though it was sitting the zippers the zippers were not easy they did not glide it is a matter of time before this goes wonky and before it breaks. So I didn't want to have that on my hands. Had to go. Okay, so that is it for Chanel. So it's two items from Chanel. So next going into Gucci. I have no Gucci in my wardrobe. And I probably will never buy Gucci again. So I'm just one of those people excited that... Not one or two, but three Gucci clutches. Red patent, new patent. Gucci, whatever that print is called. So two of them, red patent, nude patent. I had gotten rid of my Christian Louboutins that were the same nude color. So I had no reason to keep the bag. And also there was a black um, wallet on chain. 
packaging that was actually very functional, durable. It had like the the Saint Laurent grain de Poudre uh, material. It's very durable, but it just was something that I I reached for, but I didn't want to reach for anymore. If that makes sense. Gucci is out. So the next brand is Givenchy. So I got rid of not one, but two Antigonas in the size small. I love the Antigona. It is a very feminine, curvy handbag. I love the shape of it, but it was absolutely too big. And I no longer wanted large handbags in my collections. Those are gone. And also I got rid of my 4G mini tote in cream didn't want it um felt like uh, i wasn't gonna wear it so i went ahead and exchanged it for my denim 4g mini tote <sighs> how could i forget this my Givenchy horizon tote bag very pretty sky blue i'll go ahead and insert a picture right here it's absolutely beautiful i tied a twilly scarf onto it However, it was sky blue and I didn't feel like it fit any longer into my collection or into my wardrobe. So I went ahead and got rid of that. And also that is it for Givenchy. Let's move on to the longest list, believe it or not. Louis Vuitton, <laughs> Matisse girl, okay? So the original Matisse, not the pochette Matisse. But Matisse actually means, or I take it to mean, pocket. So if you notice, it's like an envelope pocket on the front of these bags. So this is the original Matisse. I had it in the navy, which I believe is marine on front leather. And it was a gift. I, it was a, a larger bag, so I only wore it a couple times. It sat in the closet, basically had the brand new leather smell. So I literally only wore this bag maybe about, I would say five times over the last like seven years that I've had it. So that I decided to go ahead and let that go. Also, the never full... Damier Azur and the Neverfull and Damier Aben. The Azur, let me tell you, the Vaqueta drives me absolutely nuts. It is pretty to look at. It is not pretty to have. I didn't know about Apple Guard when I started my um, handbag collection journey and it had um, staining on it. I didn't like the staining and I didn't like the patina either. So that had to go. But the Aben was brand new in the box and it has sat brand new in the box for years. I believe since about 2017. So approximately um, five or six years, this bag sat brand new, folded up in a box so i decided to let that go and that was that but let me tell you about that i sold it to someone i saw them wearing it and i wanted it again this is horrible 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 so sidebar if you are a person that is unsure take the time to be sure before you go ahead and let go of a handbag the Speedy 30, Damier Aben. I said I was never getting rid of that handbag. I had it for like 11 or 12 years. It was a very long time, a very beautiful handbag. However, I didn't see the need to keep the Speedy 30 because I had purchased the Speedy 20. Uh, in Damier Aben, which is a 2023 release. However, this is a twofer. I got rid of the Speedy 30 and Dami Aben and also the Speedy 20 in Dami Aben. I feel like, and this might just be my crazy way of thinking at this point, I feel as though I may not be a Dami Aben girl. 
or I am not a damier a bang girl in the smaller size. So I think for me going forward, if I decide to repurchase the Speedy and damier a bang, I think that the perfect size for me is going to be the size 25 and Delir. And I thought that I loved the crossbody strap on the Speedy 20. I do not. I do not like the guitar strap. I don't like it at all. And so I had an aha moment and actually I sold it, what, a couple days ago? So that is gone as well. Moving on, the Alma and the Bubblegram. I thought, <laughs> now this bag is, is different, it's unique, however, I was thinking about, I did like the crossbody strap on it. Um, now that guitar strap I did like, or I actually thought that I was going to be a little bit too cautious with the bag because of the quilting and how the material is. I thought that I would maybe end up scraping it somehow. So I just went ahead and let it go. Now, mind you, all of these bags are basically, they've never been worn. So just sitting collecting dust. So I went ahead and let that go. Back to the Speedy, I also got rid of the Speedy 20 on front. Spring in the City collection. So now I'm going through that. All of the bags from the Spring in the City collection have sat brand new in my collection and I have gotten rid of all three of them. Now, I did think that I wanted to go ahead and branch out and add color into my collection. I do not. I am a nudes and neutral type of girl and those handbags, I was trying to find different things to go with and you know the whites and the creams i'm going to say that the colors and the printing just didn't fit into my wardrobe so the felici pochette the alma bb and also the speedy 20. continuing on with louis vuitton i have also returned the felici pochette in the marine and rouge colorway now let me tell you about this so this is going to tie into two handbags so Emprunt leather, I believe, depending on the color, can be either very on the softer side. And I know that somebody else is crazy like me and they have paid attention to this. Different colors, even though it may be the same handbag, the material actually differentiates with the color. Let me explain. So my... Let me get it, hold on. I absolutely adore this Turtle Dove Pochette Matisse. So going back to my story, the Felici Pochette in the marine and rouge colorway, navy and red colorway, along with the Pochette Matisse in black emprunt. To me, those bags were on the softer side and I didn't like that. So this one looks like it's more structured. It doesn't have like, it's not as prone to like, you know, lumps or indentations or so forth. So I decided to go ahead and return both of those. Three, two, one. And let's move on. Moving right along. I think that's it for Louis Vuitton. Moving on to the last category, Saint Laurent. I am a sucker for Saint Laurent. Like I love Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent does the grain de poudre, which is basically the indestructible leather. They do that very well, extremely well. However, there were a couple handbags that did not work out for me color wise. Let's go ahead and start with that material with the Kate bag. I had the Kate bag, the size small, and the Blue Majorelle colorway. That colorway I got with a particular sandal to match. I never end up wearing it. It sat brand new. After my unboxing with the tags, I decided to let it go. Also, I had the original YSL clutch, which is the Kate clutch in the, the larger size. I didn't think that I needed a clutch at that time. Boy, was I wrong. I totally needed a clutch, so I wish that I hadn't let that one go. Moving on, in that same material, the 
Cassandre wallet on chain. So this is the larger wallet on chain. It's longer. It has all of the credit card slots. So I got rid of not one, but two. One in the Blanc Vintage, I believe is the color and which is the off-white it's the creamy vintage white color and also i had it and i never even unboxed this you guys i had it in the cognac color i got rid of both of those because i decided if i'm going to go ahead and have this particular handbag which is all of them have the envelope style I might as well have an envelope handbag so i just went ahead and got the the full bag as opposed to the wallet on chain Am I kicking myself for that? Yes, because I do love the silhouette of that bag. So may or may not buy it in the future. I have to be 100% sure if I get it in the future. Let's go ahead and take a look. I also had ordered not one, but two times. There's another handbag that I'm I'm forgetting. So actually it's it's more like 28 on this list. So there's another handbag that I ordered from St. Laurent. It is the Lou camera bag. I absolutely love the Lou camera bag. It speaks to me. I'm going to go ahead and purchase one in the future. However, one I received right here, I received and I got an excellent deal on it. It was brand new. However, how this particular store ships this out, they go ahead and take it out of the wrapping. They take all of the dressings off of the bag and except for the chain and they how they package the bag, I've noticed because I've ordered it two times from this company, how they package the handbag causes, because this is a very soft, supple leather, how they package the bag actually damages it. So I received the handbag. I got it for an excellent deal because there was a promotion. I got like... I don't even know how much off of the bag. So I was going to go ahead and keep it because they offered me an extra like 20% or 15%. It, it was an insane discount. Overall, I think I got about $400, $500 off the bag in total. So I was going to go ahead and keep it because I am a detailed uh, person. I could not visually get past the indentations in this bag. Now, that is wonderful for some people, but for me, I'm going to zoom in every single time to that imperfection, and it was just because how the bag was shipped out. That brings me to, I can't remember which other bag that I ordered, but it was, it was perfect. I just decided that the color, I was trying to match it with something, and the color didn't work for me, so I'll go ahead and insert that as well. And then there's one more, which is the Saint Laurent bag that I believe that probably no one had ever seen. So this was like a super rare um, Saint Laurent handbag and it was a snake skin. And I did decide to let that go. This is the original like takeout bag that they just released maybe about a year ago. So this is like along the lines of that. So I just decided that a, the skin, the snakes, I'm not a fan of snake skin or snake print so i went ahead and decided to let that go so i think that was that bad so that is everything that from the luxury standpoint that is everything that i've gotten rid of out of my collection and there are a couple more handbags on the chopping block list and i'll go ahead and keep you updated thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye